do you think there was a bigger purpose to pyramids than just uh, forced storing mummies in the... Well, I think clearly what we have here is evidence that somebody was able to measure the size and shape of the earth mm -hmm. way back when nobody was supposed to be able to do that. So if you were, you know, in an in a, in advanced scientific civilization that was able to measure the size and the shape of the earth um, with a high degree of precision, let's say what we've been able to do in the last, de uh, last century or so, century and a half, and you wanted to preserve that information as a statement that, hey, somebody was here that understood <clears throat> geodesy to, uh, to a high degree of sophistication, you build this giant model and you encode in it all kinds of interesting geometry and astronomy and geodesy, and there it is. Now, you know, if we're thinking about like mystical property, okay, <clears throat> so I was basically saying that, you know, and there may be unique energy properties to that particular geometry. Um, I don't think there's been any definitive um, research on that that settles yes there was or no there wasn't. Um, certainly I think the one thing that we can demonstrate with a fair degree of rigor is, is what I just showed you and I kind of hurried through it but um, the idea that the structure is there as, as a demonstration of someone's ability to do something that we've only been able to duplicate since you know the scientific revolution certainly within the last you saw the earliest um, geodetic survey there was what 1822 maybe <clears throat> and subsequent surveys from then haven't really made it a hugely more accurate even the ones that NASA and the Department of Defense are now using 